Jessica, are you surprised this president uh, making an overture here to, you know, gun restrictions? Not really, because he's a New York City liberal, so that isn't surprising to me. Uh, I was, I guess I shouldn't say astonished, because I heard him at CPAC this morning when he was in full campaign rally mode. But that little riff about the teachers being armed, which he says is now the number one way to protect our students, and he should go out there and talk to some of these teachers if he wants to know the truth about how they feel about that, but that the guard who was armed, who didn't do anything about this, didn't do it because he didn't love the students. And I think, you know, that incident obviously needs to be investigated, and it's a real shame and tragedy mm -hmm. that an officer who was armed and sent there to protect those children did not run towards mm -hmm. the shooter and instead stayed outside. But the idea that these teachers, who are only going to be trained, many of them. I know he says we want the ones who are already gun enthusiasts and really want to do this, but there are mm -hmm. people who are going to be then trained. I don't know how they're going to feel about the fact that someone shows up at their door with an AR-15 and whether they're going to have the wherewithal they are teachers to mm -hmm. get their gun and where is the gun and will students know there's a gun there? I mean, it's so complicated and I, oh, I would love reforms, but okay. that so, seems... So let me... Look, I, I, I'm empathetic with the teachers. Right? If, if you're a teacher right now in America and you have students that you're concerned about that could be uh, security risks, number one, you, you've got to report it, you've got to get the yeah. police involved, you've got to get the FBI involved, all of that. Um, but I understand how, you know, if you do know how to shoot a gun, and, and I don't, but if you do, you want to take that precaution. That said, you make a very good point, Jessica, and I'm going to ask Ned about it because Shouldn't we be doing a whole lot more than just expecting teachers who, by the way, have been schooled to teach? Right. <laughs> uh, why, why, why are we asking them, Ned Ryan, to be the ones to have to defend the kids? I mean, it's like, it's like uh, Trish Regan, maybe you need to be armed so that you can protect your studio from any crazies that come by. No, my job is to be a news anchor, not to right. be security. No, we're not. We're, we're not asking them to all of a sudden become security guards with concealed carry. We're saying we should give those that want to the ability and freedom to be able to do that. In fact, I think I'd love to see President Trump call for the uh, total repeal of the 1990 Gun Free School Zone Act. I think that has been an utter disaster. Um, when I show up with my kids, they're all in public school, all four of them, and I see those signs broadcasting that it's a gun free school zone. We are literally advertising. That when a madman shows Not up target. with a gun, everybody else will be without one. Yeah. I think, Trish, what we need to start doing is, again, all I've been hearing right now, we're having multiple debates that seem to be crossing channels here. We're, we're on one side, people want to talk about gun control. I want to talk about school safety. People are driving and they're virtue signaling and they're driving a political agenda. I want to talk about what school safety looks like. I do think that we have a legitimate approach. There's already eight states. That have but the, here's the, the thing, the, the, the arming your teachers is not a panacea. you got to do a whole lot no, more not. than that on a whole lot There's of levels. And I don't think it's fair to suddenly have teachers as the front line there. Uh, I mean, it can be a form of defense. I'm not entirely against that. But, you know, I, I want to make sure we get the best teachers. Not that we're out there hiring teachers because they also know how to shoot a... Gun. Can anyway. I just add something to this, Trish? Yeah. Uh, Dagan the other day brought up a really great point uh, where she said that we have a lot of unemployed veterans out there who might be fantastic security guards at a lot of these schools. And there might be some way for the president to combine his love of the military and his desire to celebrate veterans with increased school yeah. safety. I think idea. that's somewhere where the Democrats and Republicans can get along. It's, it's a good idea. It, you put people back to work mm -hmm. and uh, what were you going to say? Yeah. For, for the program to be effective, but, though, you're looking at dealing with over 100,000 schools in the country and you're hoping I, to be, I don't care. you're hoping to have you the, know right what? I don't care. the right place at the right time at the but yeah, you, so I, I gotta leave it there Ned so thank you um, Buck thank you Jessica thank you Thanks, I don't Trish. care it's gonna cost a lot of money it's gonna be a huge commitment but you know what our kids should be able to go to school and feel safe